What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode 49. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I'm sort of an idiot because I thought that we were on episode number 50. That is why I haven't ordered anything. I hadn't, you know, looked at anything. I haven't tried to, you know, I've been trying to write out episode 50. I've been trying to develop what I want to order for episode 50. And the other day I go to my playlist to look exactly what episode it's on. And it's on episode 49. This is 49. The next episode is episode 50. So I'm a big idiot. Yes. Why? Why? And, uh, yeah, so that, that pretty much covers that. I thought we were on episode 50, we're on episode 49, and, uh, the next one's gonna be massive. I don't know what we're gonna do. I need ideas. I literally have no idea what to do for episode number 50, guys. We have four packages here on episode 49 today. We have three eBay packages, and then a fan mail slash commission sort of box right here. I don't know what's in this one. I know what's in here, but I don't know which is in which, so, uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So, ladies and gentlemen, our first package does come from eBay as you see it here in the white envelope and the only way to cut open our packages is with and let's get in here so we'll just get a little slice like that and another slice like that and I don't think it cut anything so I think we're okay so we'll just go ahead and cut this and you will see that we have an older elite, guys. We have an older elite in here, and we can go ahead and watch this. Watch this magic. Yeah, very nicely executed magic trick there. But you will see, this is the Elite Four Kofi Kingston, guys. This is a beautiful figure right here. One of the earliest, this is the first ever Kofi Kingston ever made. You can see his gimmick has changed. This is when he was a Jamaican. And this is back when, you know, the WWE elites used to come with a stand and they had like their little name tag here. And this is a really cool feature. I didn't know he was throwing this in there, but we'll get a zoom in here look at this figure. This is a great Kofi Kingston. The, the head scan doesn't really resemble him that that much. I mean, he kind of looks off a little bit, but I do like it. It has the headband in there with the dreads and everything. Very, very nice figure. I love the tights so much. You got Kofi on the front, and of course, the green and yellow looks fantastic. You got the uh, little Jamaican head scan lo uh, logos from Kofi. A little yellow and green on the wristbands right there. Big knee pads with that same logo, and then you have some palm tree stuff going on on the kick pads. I love this green color, and I've never owned this Kofi Kingston figure before, and uh, I wanted to knock them all out. So, uh, beautiful design there on the back as well. I don't think we have any paint chipping. The joints are just a little bit loose, but you got to think this has been sitting out in the hot mailbox all day. Also, you have, uh, you know, I can do that little burnout ink trick with the Mod Podge and tighten this thing up. So that's no biggie. I will fix it. But that is our first figure. Looks absolutely incredible with the Elite Four Kofi Kingston. So next up, guys, we do have another package from eBay. And if somebody can tell me how to, like, fix my white balance, you notice, like, at times my, uh, my camera will be really bright. And then at other times my camera will be really dark. Like, right now it's sort of dark. But then here in a minute it will be, like, really lighter. So I don't know how to fix that. I've tried playing with the settings and everything. I've tried playing with the lighting in here. I don't know what it is, but I have these big white lamps and everything, and they still don't fix anything. So here we have another figure. They literally packaged it the same exact way. I wonder if I bought from the same seller. I don't think I did, but you never know. Let me go ahead and check. No, they're not the same seller, so I don't know what that is, but uh, let's go ahead and do the magic trick. And another successfully executed magic trick from MDT, but uh, you'll see here we have the next Kofi Kingston that Mattel made. It is the Elite 9, and this is a very nice figure indeed. I've owned this once before, and I used it to create a Shelton Benjamin Custom. So now this time I'm going to keep it like it is. You'll see it's very similar to the one we just got, but it is a little bit different. You see it's got the yellow, and uh, it's pretty much the exact same tights design except different colorway. You see that? So this is green, this has yellow and black. Uh, pretty much the same decal on the back. The kick pads are a bit different, though. You have that little Kofi logo there. Uh, sort of looks like a swiveled up poop or something like that. I don't know. Or ice cream. I don't know really what that's going for. But uh, you got yellow and black on that side. Full black on this side. And I know you're probably wondering, Oh, but MDT, where are the knee pads, man? 
and I have the knee pads right here. So you don't worry about what I order. I knew ahead of time that it didn't have knee pads, so I went ahead on my boy Frakies on eBay, and I went ahead and ordered these knee pads for like $2. So uh, yeah, I do have the knee pads that go with the figure. It's going to look beautiful. We will stick these on here before the end of the video. So yeah, guys, we have two different Kofi Kingston Elites, and we're moving on to our next package. So our third package, guys, does come from eBay as well. We ordered all three of these at the exact same time, so we're just going to give it a little slice and dice right here. A little slice and dice right there. And this should be good enough. We'll pop it open, and we literally have another magic trick for you guys, I guess, because we're all wrapped up in plastic right here. And... And you will see, guys, that we have another Kofi Kingston. It is the Elite 17, and this one's very similar to the first one, if you want to count the green colors. But the green colors are actually way different. You see, this is more of like a mintish, almost sort of a bluish, greenish color. And then here's like a bright green. But uh, we do have this Elite 17 Kofi Kingston. This is his Air Boom attire, obviously, when he was teaming with... Evan Bourne, and this is a very nice figure indeed. This is the first time they gave him the updated torso. This is more accurate. This is more of like a, this is like the Finn Balor torso in the darker skin tone, and then this is actually the Kofi Kingston or whatever you want to call it. But they gave him bigger arms this time, and yeah, very nice figure. I do like this Kofi. I love all three Kofis, and they look great. I cannot wait to uh, pop these knee pads, though, on this third one. That way we'll have all of them. And we're going to take a look at the Kofi Kingston collection when this is all done because actually, guys, you're going to be surprised how many freaking Kofi Kingstons they've made in Mattel form. They have made nine Kofi Kingston Elites. Is that not insane? We're going to take a look at all of them lined up so that we can uh, see how Kofi Kingston has progressed through his career. I think that would be a really cool thing to see on video. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the knee pads on here and we're going to line up all those Kofis. But that will be after we get into our massive box in the back. Alright guys, our last package on this episode of My Damn Hauls comes from my boy Fig Skib underscore customs on Instagram. Absolute beast. Very, very underrated customizer in my opinion. He makes cool customs and fix-ups all the freaking time. He's definitely worth a follow on Instagram. If you don't have a follow, uh, if you don't have an Instagram, then uh uh, don't worry about it, I guess. Or you should make one and follow him anyway. But uh, very cool guy. Very big supporter of the channel. Always on the help. Always sending us cool stuff. And we have some epic fan mail in here. I don't even know what we have just yet. But I do have a commission in here as well. He wants me to do him a custom Seth Rollins that I will be working on as well. But he also sent us some extra goodies for our trouble. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Very excited always to get some stuff from my boy. So we're going to spin this around. Hit it right here give it a little splitsy down the middle all right guys here we go i don't know what we're getting again there's literally okay so we have a bag of goodies right here we'll set that off to the side for now and then i guess we can just sort of take this out i guess this figure is just rolled up in here make sure we don't have anything else all right guys so i guess we'll unwrap this and see what we have in here golly this thing's massive all right so the first thing we have it looks like it is a custom Battle Pack Luke Gallo. So it looks like he, he switched the lower legs. Oh, I think this is like a mix between the uh, the basic Luke Gallows from the Straight Edge Society, maybe. I think that's what this is, but he custom painted. He's got like some paint splatter going down. Got some paint splatter on the boots. Very sick Luke Gallows. I'll put this in my fan mail figures. This is very nice. I love that look right there. You got the Luke Gallows decal right there. Got some more paint splatter going down. Very nice job on the paint splatter, bro. So we have a custom Luke Gallows. Is this a custom Akira Tozawa? We have a custom Akira Tozawa with like a Cody Rhodes head scan, but I have the battle pack, guys. I have the, or the, the, the basic. I have the basic Akira Tozawa. So what I'll do, very nice on the kick pads right there with that lime green lines going around. You got Akira Tozawa. I'm going to pop the head of the basic on here and see if we can get a cool looking custom fix up right there. Very nice job, bro, on the Akira Tozawa. He even has the decals on the back right there or the, the painted on 1985 and then... What does that say? Monster Express. That is so sick, bro. Good job on that. We have an updated Jason Jordan right here. So we have the uh, Jason Jordan, how he looked before he got injured. Obviously, the paint's not the same, but he used the TNF Elite, and he has a rock-style torso on there. Very good job there. Again, bro, looking great. Updated Jason Jordan for when he returns. Then we have a Roman Reigns with a custom MDT Live vest on. Very sick, bro. This is so nice. I love this. You have the MDT Live vest on there. This will for sure go in my fan mail figures. We have a basic Roman Reigns with the MDT Live vest on there. 
spinning it around you have the uh, triangle sort of pattern that Roman has so very nice pickups bro we have four figures there and then here is his Wrestlemania Seth Rollins he wants me to paint it accurately to uh, the the way mine is the one with the gold kick pads and the you know the, the way he looked in 2015 he even sent us the vest right here we actually do have our baggie so he sent us this vest uh, to of course paint up like I painted mine up so that's what I'll do with these and then he sent us my god guys he sent us a Constable Corbin shaved Baron Corbin head scan so I'm gonna I believe I told him I'd paint it up and then stick it on one of my Baron Corbins this is gonna be so freaking sick guys we're gonna have an updated trash Corbin so that is so awesome bro thank you so much for sending this over and sending the rest of our stuff. We're gonna, I'm gonna fix up all this stuff for you. I'm gonna fix your Seth Rollins up. And thank you so much for these figures. The MDT Live Roman, the Akira Tazawa, the Luke Gallows, and the updated Jason Jordan, bro. Thank you so much, guys. Again, go follow FigSkip underscore customs. Absolute beast over there. And uh, check out his epic Instagram. All right, guys, so here we have every Kofi Kingston Mattel has ever made, starting with the Elite Four and ending on the Elite 60. You have the Elite Four, the Elite Nine, the WrestleMania 26 Elite, the Elite 17, 27, 43, the Toys R Us exclusive three pack New Day Booty set, the 52, and then the 60 at the very end. Very cool to see just lined up right here. I used to be a huge fan of Kofi Kingston, and then when he joined New Day, I was like, Jesus Christ, what is this? And he fell off for a little bit there at the beginning of New Day. Then he started, you know, picking it back up. New Day was amazing. They're still amazing to this day. They really just bring out the best in each other. But I would love to see Kofi go out on his own again and get back to singles. Kofi, I loved it when, you know, he held the uh, Intercontinental Championship, and uh, I loved it when he held the United States Championship as well. I just always have been a big fan of Kofi, and since he ever became, you know, a tag team star, it's really hard to, you know, get into him just because he has so much around him and so much to, uh, you know, his character can't be all on his own. So I would love to see him eventually one day break up on his own again, maybe break up the New Day. I don't think he should be a heel. I just think he's a good face. Big E would be the better heel, I think, or Xavier would be the better heel to me. But Kofi, man, I would love to see him break out on his own. And it's just so cool to see all these figures lined up. I really couldn't tell you which is my favorite. I love all of them to their own. They all have their own unique, uh, you know, qualities. I would say probably one of these three. I love the first three just because, as you know, his, his singles run before he became part of a tag team. And he just looks way better to me in the uh, singles look. Uh, I do love his Elite 60, though. The Elite 60 is a really cool figure. But uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I would love to know your thoughts on what your favorite Kofi Kingston Mattel Elite is. They also made some really awesome basics. They made his basic Joker attire. They, we've seen like his light blue attire in basic form. And uh, I would love to see the, those made in Elites as well. But let me know down in the comment section below. And let's take a look at our entire haul. But that pretty much does it for this episode of My Damn Hauls. Guys, episode number 49. We are on to episode number 50. I need your guys' help on what you guys want to see in that video. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys would love to see on episode 50. Again, a huge shout out to FigSkip underscore customs on Instagram, guys. Uh, what a beast for sending us to this fan mail. I will begin on your Seth Rollins custom as soon as possible, bro. I promise you that. Definitely go give him a follow. Thank you so much for the Tazawa, the Constable Corbin head scan, the Jason Jordan, the Roman Reigns MDT live vest, and the custom Luke Gallows battle pack basic. And uh, a huge shout out to eBay for the awesome Kofi Kingston. Now we have all these Kofis, thank God. And uh, it's going to be cool to see them all up on the shelf. I want to get a few customs done of Kofi just because there are a few attires that I want to see in figure form in my collection. And uh, it's just real nostalgia for uh, you, know, you know me to see him in those uh, short gear. So I'd like to see that. But uh, we're going we're gonna to take a look. And we're going to see uh, which kind of customs I can get done. But that's going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys. Again, leave me suggestions for episode 50 down below. I want to get you guys involved in that episode. I want you guys to be a part of it. So definitely let me know your thoughts. Send me an Instagram message. Send me an email. Or, you know, just comment down below an idea. And I will definitely, uh, you know, consider it. I'm taking all suggestions. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.